Minister, Senator Patterson, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of our Chancellor, Richard Pratt AO, the University Council and the Swinburne community, I welcome you to our Lilydale campus on this, the occasion of its official opening. Now may I ask you to welcome Ms. Joy Murphy, who will speak to us on behalf of her people. Ms. Murphy is an elder of the Wurundjeri people. She is also the Aboriginal Policy Officer for the Shire of Yarra Ranges and a member of the Swinburne Australian Indigenous Assembly. Wiminjika, Wiminjika Wurundjeri Bellock, Yemen Kondi Bek, which in my language, which is the Warawang language, says that the Wurundjeri people welcome you to their land. The Wurundjeri tribe is of the Warawang language group and is part of the Kulin Nation. In the Kulin Nation, there are five clans the Watharong people, the Tonarong people, the Karang people, the Bunurong people, and of course, my people, the Wurundjeri. The Wurundjeri are known as the Grub people. Warren is the river white gum, and Jerry is the grub which is found in that tree. The Wurundjeri territory lies within the inner city of Melbourne and extends from the mountains of the Great Dividing Range south to the Yarra River, west to the Werribee River, and east to Mount Borbal. The Wurundjeri have a social totem, Bunjil the Eagle. Throughout many parts of Australia, Bunjil is referred to as the creator of mankind. To the first man and woman he created, Bunjil taught them all about the laws of life and ceremony in an effort to maintain the culture of Aboriginal people. The story of the traditional days continues in an effort to maintain what culture and knowledge that still remain and also to pass on to the next generations. Aboriginal stories strengthen, sorry, were served to strengthen cultural ties and common bonds. The stories were based on wisdom and knowledge of the elders. The elders are the caretakers of our knowledge. The storyteller was in touch with the land, was in touch with the elements, and was in touch with the people. Traditional and contemporary knowledge can be shared and appreciated if those are people are willing to learn. I'd like to congratulate the University, uh, the Lilydale campus of the University of uh, Swinburne University of Technology for the in formation of the Australian Indigenous Consultative Assembly um, in the way that it conducted its pre-consultation I know that um, Lorraine Lilly is the Aboriginal Liaison Officer had a lot to do with that. Um, but for members of the campus who perhaps were new to this area, it was fundamental that Aboriginal people were consulted in the early stages prior to the formation. I'm pleased to say um, and honoured to be part of that committee because I do believe that the two cultures and both educations can come together to form a partnership that will better educate all our people. I would like to extend my good wishes to the campus on this excellent building and I feel that it's a building where my people will be happy to attend given that although there's many glass features out there we can still see what exists and is very common to our people, and that's the land. Just one other thing that I'd like to say is I'm very pleased that um, we have a number of Aboriginal students already on, um, at Lilydale campus who will be transferring to here, and that I've been involved with early talks about um, fostering other Aboriginal students to attend.
And I think that it, that too is um, part and parcel of what Lorraine Lilly um, has been doing in her job uh, whilst at this campus. So I'd like to say personally thank you to Lorraine. And in closing, although I'm not an academic um, in the uh, contemporary sense, I believe that uh, my traditional values um, and my education and knowledge that has been passed down from my elders will help build um, this university to what I believe will be um, a great partnership of people. Thank you.